Gómez. Hello there friends, my name is Victoria Moro, welcome to release of the day. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can keep up with the newest trend in the world of indie artists. Hello, hello there friends, I'm so happy to be here with you. Join us tonight a very interesting and talented artist. Hello! Hiya, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, great, thanks for having me. Are you ready to begin? Yes, let's go. First of all, please introduce yourself, what's your name? Hi, uh, my name is Ariadna, um, but I create music and animated music videos under the kind of witchy alias of Realma, which is like a little pun on um, realms, because each song is in a different genre, yeah. Where are you from? Um, I'm originally, so I was born in Serbia, but my dad is Chinese, so I've kind of lived in between both countries. Wow. I studied in the UK as well for a bit. I plan to go back, so you can say I'm a bit of like a, nomadic kind of person <laughs> wow it's a very interesting mix actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> and what is the genre of your music so it's multi-genre as i said it's kind of a bit of everything it's kind of really mixing this kind of classical sound i would say like the pop ballads with like film noir or elements from I don't know, one, one song kind of has this kind of witchy wolf sound, another has like more of a Disney vibe. So it really depends on each song and where it takes me, really. Uh, what is the last song you listened to? Oh, um, hmm, that is an interesting question. Um, Portishead, I really love their music. So I was listening to some of their old stuff, like Glory Box and yeah similar things. <laughs> nice. And what uh, is your favorite movie or TV series? Ooh, I really love Mr. Robot. Um, it's really got that kind of millennial charm. It's also dark and yeah, a bit edgy, I guess, as well. But it's very cinematic the way it's shot. I think it really challenged the TV series form. Oh. And what about books? What is your favorite book? Ooh, I really love kind of very classical kind of, I guess, uh, a bit of Dostoevsky, a bit of um, French classics as well. So yeah, kind of old stuff, I guess. <laughs> oh, Dostoevsky, wow. <laughs> nice. Very nice. And what is your favorite dish? Ooh, um, I love Asian dishes and because I, I spent my early childhood in Lanzhou, which is like in Gansu province in the northern China and there's like this special dish called Lanzhou Nyo Rou Mian, which is like the beef noodles which are very spicy and yeah, I would vote that as the best dish in the world. <laughs> you cook this dish at home for yourself? Um, no, it's it's very hard to do at home but I kind of, I, I do like my own little version of it. <laughs> Okay, nice. And are you a cat person or dog person or you prefer other animals? Oh, um, definitely dogs because I have two dogs. One is a sommelier. Another is a blind dog we actually adopted recently. We found her in a shaft and no one wanted to rescue her. So we went all the way down and, and saved her. Um, but I also have cats. My grandma has three cats. Um, so <laughs> we're, we're a big animal family. Oh yeah, and you tell us then you have at home now a few dogs, yes? Yeah, 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 two dogs, yeah. They're very yeah. playful. I hope they don't bark, but we'll see. <laughs> nice, that's nice. So they bark, they say hello to our audience too. Yeah. <laughs> and what kind of dogs it is? Um, so one is a Samoyed. It's like a Siberian. He's very puffy, white. <laughs> it's he, So my first song, A Hint of Pink, if you watch the music video, it's got like this white wolf. It was inspired by him. So he's called Mephistopheles, like <laughs> like a little devil because he's like very crazy. And the other is Allegra. So she's the black dog we adopted. She, she's like a street dog. So we're not sure she's a mix of a few breeds probably. 
Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, which artist influenced you most of all? Sorry, can you can you repeat that once more? Which artists influence you most of all? Um, I think I really love Saint Vincent, um, Mitski, there's David Bowie, um, Bjork, um, and plenty and Goldfrapp and plenty of other kind of they really influenced my kind of witchy style, I guess. You can say that kind of alter ego. Um, it's definitely from them. They're also like I, I really love classical scores because I have this kind of classical background. So I love Bernard Herrmann. His um, Vertigo arrangement is fabulous, for example. So yeah, I, I love, uh, yeah, these are, it's kind of like a mix of contemporary artists and, and kind of old classics, yeah. Okay, and now please describe your music in a sentence or even better in a word. Ethereal, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <It's real. laughs> okay, and have you played any notable gigs, festivals or other events? Um, yeah, so most recently I was featured and there was this competition, I think it's Italian actually, M Arte Live. Um, so yeah, it was this big European com like competition. It's it's not just music, it was other disciplines like street art and like sculpture, I think, and, and plenty of other um, categories. And we were featured for music videos, so I performed in Tuzla for the semifinals because we got in the top three, which was a very big um, accomplishment because I've just started with my music journey really. Um, and yeah, we, we plan to play, we plan to tour as well and do, do more gigs. I've, I've only done kind of like um, Serbia at the moment, but I hope to travel more outside and yeah, go to Europe European countries that are closer and maybe one day US, we'll see. <laughs> oh, very, very nice. And actually, how you understand and you want to become a musician? Um, so I, I was training in music from an early age. So I started playing violin when I was very young and then I added piano and guitar, but I didn't really plan to go into music. I studied film and drama instead. Um, and I was crazed with drama at that time. I was um, going to MA auditions and like I was learning acting monologues and stuff like that. But um, 2020 came along <laughs> the coronavirus, right? And there were lockdowns and I had this quite horrible, honestly, um, police mishandling and I had a bit of PTSD and music really, really helped me through this kind of dark time in my life. And that's when I started dreaming about other worlds and other realms and they really helped me heal in real life as well. So I really believe in that kind of empowering, um, I guess, um, the empowering strength of music. Yeah. Oh, interesting story. Nice story, actually. It's all, uh, always very inspirational when you can explain how music helped to you to become better and feel good and it's amazing. Okay, and what's your best quality and what's your weakness? Ooh, interesting. Um, I'm curious. I think that's one of my better um, qualities. I, I kind of am curious about everything. I want to learn everything. I want to experience everything. Um, at the same time, I guess it, it's, it can also be a weakness because I want to do everything at once, <laughs> which is impossible. So I tend to burn out very easily, which is bad as an independent artist because there are so many things to do. You have to promote and you have to have like gigs you've, you've got to kind of handle everything on your own and when you want to do these additional things it's very easy to to get tired and then you're just kind of bad ridden one day just sleeping <laughs> not doing anything yeah and what do you believe in um hmm so i think again i i believe i, I guess i'm not a very religious person. Um, I'm, I'm not going like to church or temples because I think I've had like a various upbringing, but I love, I love some, I guess, customs and I love, um, uh, yeah, I, I just love, I, I, I'm a very spiritual person. So I also love astrology, like reading up about many things. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I believe in peace. I think <laughs> that's one. Yeah. And I, I guess I believe in fighting for, for peace. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. We believe in peace. It's very important in that time of the yeah. whole situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The whole world is kind of crazy at the moment. Yeah. Well, this uh, type of belief is very good message. 
Okay, what is your music creation process? Um, it's very playful, I would say. I usually start just randomly at the piano, not with kind of like a blank slate. Um, or I've experienced something and, and I sit on the piano and I just kind of start playing these chords and or, or on guitar, depends. And then if that triggers something in me, I will go on deeper and explore that kind of feeling deeper. And I actually don't experience music just as sounds. I, I think synesthesia is a very big contributor to my music. So I kind of see colors, I see different things. For example, for my first track, A Hint of Pink, I just saw a wolf drenched in like pink light staring at its reflection. So it's just from playing chords. And then it ended up also being a part of the animation. And from there, I just kind of explore that for wandering for example I just saw this woman smoking like um, and and being like surrounded by this red color and contemplating about love and and that kind of just triggered um, me going into kind of obsessive relationships and noir chords and yeah it just kind of got crazy from there and and the newest song Ash Grey Butterfly actually that one started from a dream I dreamed that a person like we were in a theater and there was this butterfly that was flying towards us and it had this most beautiful color and I asked the person next to me what color it was and there, this weird sound started playing and the person said oh it's ash gray don't you know and I woke up and I, it, it just kind of stayed with me and later on um, I was doing this kind of singing and songwriting course and I was playing this E major chord but with this kind of D like mixolydian as the last note which is like a surprise note and it somehow just reminded me of that dream of that kind of color that didn't fit in with anything I knew and this kind of D didn't fit in with like E major. So it's it's really like a various process for me and, and it lasts a longer time I would say than the most. Some people write their songs very quickly. I, I really take my time to like turn them into kind of cinematic experiences. So it, it takes a couple of months I guess to get to the final kind of product, yeah. Wow, amazing story really. Very interesting because process is totally different yeah. <laughs> part like this part like that is fantastic Brilliant. and now please if you can sing to us 15 seconds one of your favorite song a cappella oh um i can do the newest because it's um i guess newest um let's do have you ever felt like a puzzle piece misplaced into the wrong box. Mm. Well, I always feel a bit lost. Unable to fit in. Unable to pretend. Oh no, I can't. And the rest you can listen to. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice. Beautiful song and a nice voice. And now our final question. Please tell to us about your music project and your future plans. Um, so yeah, um, I've, I've started with animated music videos and one of my biggest plans for the future is to develop these into bigger forms. So I want to take each song and kind of each of the themes and make them into comic books, video games, hopefully like a Big franchise, we'll see. It's it's very hard, but <laughs> that that's kind of my biggest dreams. Um, but yeah, um, currently Ash Grey Butterfly is kind of like a Disney vibe, kind of whimsical song that kind of explores a bit of loneliness and depression, but through this kind of lighthearted way, which I think in this kind of COVID era and with the wars and a lot of other things going on, I think it's a nice reprieve for us to just kind of relax a bit through these kind of dark themes, yeah. Oh, beautiful, beautiful plans. And please let our audience know where they can listen to your music and which platforms you can be found on. Yeah, so um, on YouTube, you can watch my music videos. We also shot some beautiful live videos, for example, one at Felix Romeliana, which is like an ancient site. Um, so just type in Ralma, R-E-A-L-M-A. -A -A. Um, you can also stream my music on Spotify, SoundCloud, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and yeah, I'm, I'm mostly a bit everywhere. Not yet on TikTok, but one day, maybe. 
<laughs> and website is uh yeah realmaverse.com so yeah you you'll write it out yeah <laughs> Okay, and what song are we going to listen to now? Yeah, so it's Ash Grey Butterfly, as I said, the kind of dreamy Disney vibe, which, yeah, you'll see, it's a bit of everything. It's very grandiose, yeah. Oh, thank you so, so much for your time, for beautiful and interesting answers. And now, let's enjoy the song together. Yeah, thank you. Place into the wrong place. 